How you doing? This is BK for ManfulWars.com and ManfulWars Media, uh, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help uh, nice ladies and gents worldwide offline, teach kids to look, talk, and feel great, and uh, to help uh, nice ladies and gents worldwide offline locally discuss and share great info they find online as uh, nice people making better, pla better people in better places to live, getting better politicians and results, either putting them in or being more informed and empowered and demanding more than what you're just told to accept. So I'll put on my glove here. Uh, and I'm here in downtown Toronto at 6.25 p.m. on Thursday, April 9th, on a very, very cold uh, Thursday, April 9th in downtown Toronto, Canada. Behind me is uh, 40 College Street, uh, Toronto Police Services headquarters. And, um, and I'm just west of Young and College. And uh, yeah, um, you know, uh, basically I did a vlog today called uh, Global uh, COVID-19 uh, Response. And uh, basically, unite your people versus the UN, uh, World Health Organization, and Communist China attacks. Stop local bitching and snitching. Stop local people messed up, messing with each other under the communist system, you know, bragging about being a mess. You're impotent while they're a mess. People who have problems, everybody got problems, but you cause problems and nobody can solve them. Nobody feels like it. And uh, people acting rude and sketchy. And uh, if, if, you, uh, if you don't act, if you don't put up with and act like them, acting rude and sketchy, you can't just look at it. So you have to put up with it and act like it. Uh, if you don't, then sometimes they won't do anything with you. And if you do, then you can't do anything with each other. And so then they wander around shaking near strangers, looking for nice people to bother. Sort of like zombie wants brain, zombie makes another zombie, right? And that's fine, you know. Um, you know, it's not, not advisable if, if you can help it. People who know can help people stop. And when it's strangers, politely ignore it. You don't bother them back. They don't like that. You don't bother other people. Nobody likes that. You know, uh, you politely ignore them. They like being ignored by polite Canadians. And uh, instead of bothered or embarrassed, and uh, they want to stop. And uh, either they can or they can't, or they will or they won't, and people will help them or they won't. Um, otherwise, that's just how things turned out. But even those people deserve to do it in a nice place, right? So a nice city like Toronto uh, or wherever you live in the world with nice people and people going out, and nice restaurants and nice sports teams and, 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 and places to make money and opportunity and so on and optimistic about their future and so on, right? So if you're going to do that, uh, you shouldn't do that in a communist shithole or a communist hellhole like uh, the world is being turned into by the evil globalists in charge of the UN, World Health Organization, and communist China they built up where they practiced everything. And now we're not just uh, importing uh, cheap communist Chinese goods. You know, we give them paper, they give us stuff, they use that paper to buy us, they buy Vancouver, they buy this, they buy that. Um, and because uh, it's our paper, we take it, right? And, uh, and we've got some treasonous, traitorous uh, sellout uh, corporate and, and, and political leadership kind of doing that. And, um, and so, you know, for the, the polite uh, patriots out there worldwide, you know, it's important to unite your people against this attack as opposed to being divided and conquered and to have your people bitching and snitching. And when everyone's uh, a slave of the government, then people will tend to work for the government against each other because they're the ones you depend on as opposed to people not a slave of the government where they'll work for themselves, work for each other, and try and help each other move up, right? So that's what's going on. So, so less bitching, less snitching. No one snitching, you know, is this bullshit, you know, calling your, calling your neighbor for this and that, you know, nonviolent crimes. No one's molesting a kid next door, you know, kill him yourself and call the cops or call the cops, whatever. But uh, for just normal bullshit, you know what I mean, you, you don't do that to people unless you're in a communist government and you do that, right? And so for the people out there that uh, want to act rude and sketchy until other people act rude and sketchy, because you can't just look at that shit, it's too ugly, stressful, and confusing, and then you make them put up with an act like you, uh, if you won't do anything with them unless they do that, uh, keep in mind that after they do that and they start turning into a rude, sketchy mess bothering you, then you can't do anything or you can't do much, can't be busy or happy or nice or look at or talk to each other or other people near them because they act sketchy and make it, make it impossible. Uh, and then when they can't do much near each other, they go do it near strangers, try to turn them into rude, sketchy zombies too. So... I'm going to uh, show you what might be part of the plan, uh, and I'll show you how it relates to all this, and then we'll take a look, and I'll show you what's going on. So, um, here at Toronto Police Services Headquarters, there's three Masonic statues here, 40 College Street. One over there, a man with bricks and books on his shoulders, standing up tall. One over there, a little kid pulling a trolley with a Washington Monument-style tall, uh, kind of uh, squared-off tower thing with a pyramid on top, and a little boy pulling a trolley with that. And then you've got this one right in front, which is a pyramid, right? This is a pyramid, and uh, it's a hermaphrodite cop uh, building a pyramid, right? And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to make a statue of a cop doing a pyramid of cool stuff, then you'd probably make him look more like Batman or Superman. And if you're asking me who I am, I'm, I'm not Batman. I'm polite Canadian man. Who? Polite Canadian man. No, Batman? No, not Batman. Polite Canadian man, right? That's polite Canadian man. Dun, 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 dun. The polite Canadian uh, signal goes up. You know, you show up out of nowhere, Commissioner Gordon, 
hey, how'd you do that, Blake Canadian man? This is what I do, right? And then you just disappear, and they, how, do you, how does he do that, right? But not Batman. Batman's working somewhere else. He's got to eat, I don't run around those gay-ass tights, right? He's got my own shirt and tie, stuff like that, right? Um, but, but polite Canadian man, right? So just an average guy, average height, average weight, average build. But my point is about this statue is that um, if you're going to make one, you wouldn't make it look like half-man, half-woman creature finishing a pyramid with a haunted, quiet look on their face, unless that might be the plan, right? So we'll take a look at this and take a look at the rest, and this is as good a time as any to do something about it. So here's the pyramid. Now, I'll say that Canadians did not have a referendum on whatever the hell this pyramid means. You know, and we, we like referendums. You know, Quebec wants to leave. Every few years we have a referendum. We give them more stuff and they say, okay, don't worry about it, right? Um, so there's the pyramid, almost done. Two bricks left, right? There's the trowel. There's a very small, tiny hand, very slim arm, very tiny, slim shoulders. Yeah, my shoulders are bigger than this guy's, right? This is a statue of a guy. There's a slim torso. There's longish hair past the collar, longish sideburns. You know, there's a sort of a half man, half woman, haunted, quiet face, blank eyes and stare, right? And there is, with the slim upper body, there's the thick, bubbly legs and butt, right? And, uh, and then sticking the butt out to finish it. And uh, there's the couple of bricks left. And so that is what's going on. So what you need to do is you need to unite your people as polite patriots against this plan so they can communicate well online and offline and teach kids to. And then even if people still want to act rude and sketchy, make people uncomfortable till you make them uncomfortable till you can't do anything with each other or pay attention to each other, and then do it to your strangers, at least they can do it in a nice place to live, not some uh, awful communist shithole, you know, where you're barely allowed to leave your house, Amazon drones deliver your food once a week, and, uh, and then you're just making each other miserable, torturing each other, acting sketchy at home, and then you can't wait to run out in the streets and make more zombies out of any nice people you run into by running close to and bothering them and spreading the virus or bumping into them and stuff, right? So, walking uh, east on college. So, a poor sketchy person. No, they make everyone uncomfortable. They act rude and sketchy. They make you put up with and act like them. You can't just look at that stuff. It's too ugly, stressful, and confusing. So, if you don't act rude and sketchy with them, then they get upset and they won't do anything with you. If you do act rude and sketchy with them, then you can't do anything with each other. You can just make each other quiet and uncomfortable and then go bother strangers, like zombie wants brains, zombie looks for nice people with brains, zombie makes another zombie, right? So, there you go. And just double time check, 6.32 p.m. Thursday, April 9th, 2020, downtown Toronto, Canada. And they like being ignored by polite Canadians instead of bothered or embarrassed, you know, you don't bother them back, you know, it's not nice, you don't bother other people, it's not nice. You just politely ignore them, and they finish running and shaking, and since I was a kid on the subway, and poor sketchy people can't explain why they're worked up bothering strangers, they can't get along with people they know, it's hard to pay attention to them, then they run and do it near strangers. All the polite Canadians on the subway politely looked at your newspaper, looked away, and they finished running around and shaking and ran away, or with peer pressure, they calmed down, they stopped, Hopefully people they know can help them stop. When it comes to strangers, just none of your business. You know, you don't, you certainly don't get involved. You don't, they feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue. They already don't care about people they know and make them uncomfortable and they go do it near strangers. So you got to be a little book smart and a little street smart to live in a city. And uh, that's pretty typical, right? If you go to Queen Street West and Bathurst, a lot of homeless people there, two big shelters, Center for Addiction and Mental Health nearby. You'll see that happening and you just don't get involved. Other polite Canadian homeless people or even normal mentally ill people who aren't trying to bother you, you know, they can deserve a little dignity and respect, and uh, you can show and get some, and you can say hi, you can mind your business. You know, that's not so bad, right? So, but even so, even if people want to do that, they deserve a nice place to do that in, a nice place to live, right? You know, you don't want to do this in a communist shithole where we're all tracked and searched and drugged and chipped as they export communist China policies here with the evil globalist United Nations and World Health Organization uh, you know, using China as a sort of a base to test things on a billion people and then exporting their policies here, not just their products. Instead, we've got to reverse that. We've got to beat the evil globalists behind the UN, World Health Organization, who built up communist China, to save the Chinese people who, you know, they fight like crazy. Hong Kong fought like crazy to avoid being part of China. And so, you know, those little yellow people can do it. Big old hockey playing white boys can do it. And others in uh, Canada and uh, the US and, and uh, Europe and other places around the world. But otherwise, root sketchy, no, it's no relation. I don't want people to be embarrassed. Someone thinks it's my wife. We were arguing earlier, and now they're a really big, bitchy, sketchy mess in the public, and uh, I'm just impotent while they're a mess, and everyone around is uncomfortable. It's not. It's just a poor, sketchy person that acts rude and sketchy with people they know, makes it hard to pay attention to them, and then does it near strangers. And sometimes with the mindset, uh, if they act rude and sketchy and force you to put up with them, you can't just look at it. 
right? So if you don't put up with an act like them, then they won't do anything with you. They won't be nice, they won't look at you, talk to you. If you do put up with an act like them, then you can't do anything with each other. You can't do much, you can't, it's hard to be nice, look at, talk to each other, then you run around shaking near strangers, right? So that's the sort of thing. So if you don't, then they won't do anything with you. They're like, ah, come on, this is what I do, this is my social life. I act rude and sketchy, make everyone uncomfortable, make everyone put up with it and act like it, and then I can't do anything with them, then I run do it near strangers. How dare you? So if you don't do anything with them, then they won't do anything with you. If you don't do that with them, they won't do anything with you. If you do that with them, you can't do anything with them, right? Because you act too rude and sketchy to pay attention to each other, right? But they like being ignored by polite Canadians, right? They like it. Otherwise, they don't care. They like it. They like being ignored by polite Canadians. They don't like being bothered back. You don't bother them. Ah, fuck you, put up with this. They don't like being bothered back. They don't like being embarrassed if you pay attention to them, right? They like being ignored, want to stop. That's just the best they can do, right? But for polite Canadians out there, polite patriotic Canadians and other people worldwide, right? Even those poor, sketchy people who make you put up with an act like them or they won't do anything with you, and then when you do put up with an act like them, you can't do anything with each other, they, they, you know, so you run around shaking near strangers, even they should be able to get to do it in a nice place with nice people, lots of places to go, lots of people going out, lots of restaurants open, nice sports teams, you know, so on, lots of opportunity. Then they can run around shaking near those people and be politely ignored instead of bothered or embarrassed. And, uh, and, and it's a nice place to live to do that, right? As opposed to sort of a communist shithole where communist Chinese policies exported by the globalist United Nations and World Health Organization are used to crack down on everybody. So you can unite your people against the, uh, the evil uh, globalist, uh, you know, UN and communist China uh, uh, kind of taking over the world uh, and, and, and making the whole world like that uh, as part of their global control systems. And then from there, you know, you can kind of save where you live and then the people that want to act rude and sketchy and they won't do anything with you if you don't put up with an act like them and then if you do you can't do anything with each other and you run around shaking near strangers trying to force them to put up with it they can at least do that in a nice place while other polite Canadians and other people can, uh, can be nice and polite, can get along they don't bother each other and they don't bother strangers and then they can, uh, you know, they can teach kids to be nice polite Canadians or wherever you live and then, and then, and then other people can, can act rude and sketchy in at least a nice place right? all these nice people going out, all these nice people getting along Poor sketchy person shaking near strangers, politely ignored, not bothered back, they don't like that, you know, not embarrassed, paying attention to them, and so on. They just, uh, they just run shaking near people. There's no relation. And not my ugly ass wife. I don't really think it's my ugly ass wife, you know, being a, a big, ugly, bitchy, sketchy mess in public because we were arguing and now I'm just impotent while they're a mess in public, right? And that's embarrassing. But otherwise, if people know you have nothing to do with it, it's just a poor mentally ill person that makes everyone near them uncomfortable so they don't want to pay attention to them anymore Then does it near strangers, then it's nothing. It's okay, you know. It's all a little self-respect, mind your business. Because the zombie social life is really cramped right now. The zombie makes all the people it knows uncomfortable so you don't want to pay attention to them anymore, acting rude and sketchy. Then it runs shaking near hundreds of strangers a day. And now with the quarantine, the zombie can only run near a few dozen people a day because most people are inside. So zombie social life is really cramped, right? And they might be torturing each other in quarantine. They might be inside with somebody else. They might be acting rude and sketchy with each other so they can't pay attention to each other, can't say, do much. You know, everybody got problems, but if you cause problems, nobody wants to solve them. So they're just stuck with their problems. And, uh, and then they can't wait to run around shaking near strangers, try to make more zombies. And, uh, and they can't do that uh, as much with all the people under quarantine. So zombie social life is really cramped, right? can't do much with people you know, act rude and sketchy, uh, make them act rude and sketchy back because you can't just look at that shit. It's too ugly, stressful and confusing. Uh, and then uh, when you can't pay attention to each other anymore because you keep acting rude and sketchy and bothering each other, then going and doing it near strangers, you know they don't like it, you know nobody likes it, you know nobody likes you doing it, and uh, you keep making it hard to do anything. And then if you, everybody got problems, but who's going to solve them if you're acting rude and sketchy? Who cares? <laughs> so, you know, it just makes it hard to do anything. So, but even they, that's why you need to unite your people against the evil globalist United Nations, World Health Organization, and Communist China exporting not just their products but their policies worldwide to kind of lock us all down, stick us in quarantine, have Amazon drones deliver stuff to our house once a week. They don't know, sir. And, uh, and, uh, and, then, uh, and then they can do it in a nice place to live at least, you know? It won't be some communist shithole where we're all tracked and searched and drugged and chipped. If you want to run around shaking near strangers and running away and politely ignored instead of bothered or embarrassed, and uh, that's better, want to stop, no big deal. And, um, and then, at least it's a nice place to do that, right? And then other people, polite, patriotic, Canadians, whoever, can get along, respect each other, teach kids to, cute little birdies, see you don't want to bother people, you don't want to be bothered, you know, like everybody else. And then they can be nice to you, you can be nice to them, they can come really, really close to your leg if they want, knowing that you're not the kind of person that bothers people for no reason, 
you're not a rabid dog that just freaks out on everyone near you and uh, and, and makes it impossible to pay attention to you or be nice to you and uh, and so on, right? So, so that's important. So, as for who am I? I'm not Batman. I want to make that clear. Not Batman. I'm polite Canadian man. Who are you? Batman. No, not Batman. Polite Canadian man. Can you speak up a bit? No, I cannot speak up a bit. I talk in a low, gravelly voice. I don't wear gay-ass tights. I wear a nice shirt and tie. And I'm a polite Canadian man. And I try and make sure that other polite Canadian men can help make sure everyone's fine. It's supposed to be rude and sketchy, bully people that are not respecting them, and then be bullied by other people acting rude and sketchy and are not respecting them. So they get it both ways. They lose respect bothering people, and they lose respect being bothered. Right? So, otherwise, rude, sketchy, zombie, that's what it does, right? It, it acts like a rude, sketchy zombie. And if you don't put up with an act like it, it won't do anything with you. And if you do put up with an act like it, you can't do anything with it. Right? You just act rude and sketchy and bother each other, and you can't wait to run around shaking near strangers, making more zombies. So that's the issue. <clears throat> so walking south on the uh, east side of Young Street, and, uh, you know, and even, even the worst scum of the earth, you know, scum like, you know, terrorists, mass murderers, serial killers, child rapists, unless you execute them with a death penalty, they're typically given the bare minimum to stay alive, which is one hour a day outside to get a bit of cardio, get a bit of sun, and not be a bigger drain on the prisonplant.com health system, cost the system more money, you know what I mean? So, so, so you know, that's more of a pain in the ass. So you typically get the bare minimum you need to stay alive, which is one hour a day outside of solitary, and then back in the hole, right? But again, if people unite their people, instead of bitching and snitching, locally bitching and snitching, oh great, we're all the government's bitch right now, how do I bitch and snitch uh, to make sure that I can get stuff from the government instead of helping people do better while they help me do better, right? Um, you can unite your people against the evil globalist United Nations, World Health Organization, and communist China exporting their policies to the West to trap us all and lock us down, and then rude, sketchy zombies who make everyone near them uncomfortable so you can't pay attention to them, you have to put up with an act like them, and then you can't pay attention to each other, you have to go do it near strangers, at least they can do it in a nice place to live, while polite Canadians politely ignore them, they like being ignored and want to stop, they don't like being bothered back, they don't like being embarrassed if you pay attention to them, they just, you just politely ignore them, and they run around shaking and running away. You can do a nice place to live. A nice guy on a bike, you know, thinking about it, they say what's up. Otherwise, they'll do it in some sort of communist, tracked and searched and drugged and shipped shithole. And, uh, and, uh, and we'll just sort of, you won't be able to say or do anything about it. Because if you can, then they'll attack you and try and make you into a sketchy zombie. And if you don't put up with an act like them, they won't do anything with you. If you do, you can't do anything with each other. You just want to run around shaking near strangers trying to make more zombies. So that's the zombiosis process. So, oh, people nice. No big deal. You know, but if they have to sort of trick or trick or force you to see something you're not going to like, you don't like them, and then go do it near strangers, then eh, that's just how things turned out, right? <clears throat> Which is fine. You can do it in a nice place to live, you know, with other polite, patriotic Canadians and, and, and other people around the world, you know, who make sure it's a nice place to live, not some communist shithole where we're all tracked and searched and drugged and chipped. You know, and uh, and then you know, they, even they, if they well, I, just, I like running around in a nice place with nice people and bothering them. Great. They, 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 we have, you need some people to save it, right? You, you can't just have nobody save it. And then the people that want to save it, polite, patriotic Canadians and others, you know, respect each other like nice ladies and gents teach kids to. And then the other people, rude, sketchy, make you put up with an act like them so you can't pay attention to each other and you go bother strangers. They can uh, they can do that in a nice place to live, right? So it's going to take some people that can respect each other and communicate well to do that. You can unite your people against the uh, evil globalist UN and uh, World Health Organization and Communist China bringing over their massive control policies for a flu that may or may not be deadly, right? Sometimes, sometimes they say it's deadly. Oh, it's deadly, deadly. Now people say, ah, oh, you know what, survive. You'll be fine. You might just scare, you know, I just kill somebody else. 104-year-old World War II vet survived. This other person fine. This other person fine. You know, everyone paranoid, well, you might be fine, but you might kill somebody else. So how deadly is this stupid thing anyway? You know, there's lots of coronaviruses out there, according to official, you know, sources, and so on. So here at Young and Dundas, right? Uh, no relation, no relation. I don't really think it's my ugly-ass wife. We were arguing earlier, and now they're a bitchy, sketchy mess in public, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and I'm just impotent, and everyone around's uncomfortable. No, it's a poor, sketchy person. No, they act rude and sketchy, and if you don't uh, put up with an act like them, then they won't do anything with you. If you do, you can't do anything with each other. 
is so because you can't pay attention to each other, so you run around shaking near strangers. So it's no relation, right? Well, it's always been, it's, since I was a kid, polite names, politely looked away, looked at the newspaper, fish running around shaking, running away, what's up? So a nice guy on a bike, you know what I mean? And, um, and it's going to take some people to save a nice place to live, so nice, polite uh, uh, Canadians and others can enjoy it, teach kids to be, and then other people acting rude and sketchy can at least do it in a nice place to live, not some horrible third world uh, uh, tracked and searched and drugged and chipped communist shithole that, uh, that is being created, right? So here at Dundas Square, you know, oh no, no relation. Oh no, it's a poor sketchy person. No, you don't get involved. You don't bother them back. They don't like that. Nobody likes that. You don't bother other people. Nobody likes that. They like being ignored and they're not bothered. They're not embarrassed, right? They want to stop. That's all they can do, right? But they should do it in a nice place to live. Other people can save a nice place to live. Other polite, patriotic Canadians make it easy to get along, communicate well, can save a nice place to live. Then you have a nice place to live, place is open, people going out, opportunity, freedom, prosperity. And then other people like to run around shaking near those people and try to bother them. You politely ignore them. At least it's a nice place to live to do that, right? So it's not some, uh, some you know, export, not just uh, communist Chinese products, but export communist Chinese policies to kind of lock us all down as part of the evil globalist United Nations World Health Organization and Communist China attack that we're currently under. So our people are at war, and instead of local bitching and snitching, you can kind of you can kind of make that clear. And then, um, you know, they deserve a nice place to live, right? Even the people that want to act rude and sketchy, at least they can do it in a nice place. A bunch of nice people there getting along. Hey, not bothering you. Oh, put up with me. I'm going to like it. Yeah, run them away. All right, fine. Quietly ignore it. You know, no big deal. Everybody happier. And, uh, and, and it's at least a nice place. It's not like, wow, rude, sketchy, bio, everyone's next up, track and search, drugs and chips, biometrics, ID cards, so-and-so, get a vaccine a week, 5,000 disease, 5,000 vaccines, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, you don't need to do that, right? Amazon drones delivering your weekly rations once a week and stuff. You know, not allowed to leave your house. So nobody can say anything, do anything, if nobody will let anybody. So that's the difference. So some people can save a nice place to live. Nice, polite people who can respect each other, teach kids to communicate well. And then poor, sketchy people, even if they just want to act sketchy until you act sketchy, they won't do anything with you if you don't. They can't do anything if you do. Uh, you know, they can't do anything with you if you do. You know, uh, they just, you know, you have to go do it near strangers when you can't pay attention to each other anymore. It's too uncomfortable. You know, they can do it in a nice place to live. And other people that want to be polite and get along can also do it in a nice place to live. So everybody happier, right? So walking south on the east side of Queen Street West, or, or Young Street, just uh, past Dundas Square. And uh, Chile, it's a Chile day. Yeah, you can unite your people and stop all the local bitching and snitching, which comes in communist countries, like communist Canada, where people will go, well, we're all dependent on the government, how do I kiss its ass more? Maybe I'll turn you in. Maybe I'll whatever. Maybe I'll spy on you with my phone. And if you leave the house, I'll call the cops and get 200 bucks. It's happening in Los Angeles. The mayor announced it. The mayor said, hey, we know what they say about snitches, but in this case, they get rewards. It's like, well, there you go. So you can stop that if you have polite, patriotic Canadians. And if people want to act rude and sketchy, and they won't do anything with you unless you pay attention or do it back, you can't look at it. It's too gross. So you have to do it back. Then you can't do anything with each other. Then you go do it near strangers when you can't uh, be nice and look at and talk to each other anymore. At least they can do that in a nice place with other nice, polite people who don't enjoy that and who uh, make it easy to respect each other and communicate well and so on. So, so it all works out, you know. Well, we're at war. We're at war. Like, against Chinese people, they hate their government too. We think Hong Kong went crazy fighting against it. So, it's like Nazi Germany on steroids. They're way worse. Way bigger, more technology, live organ, organ harvesting. You know, they're bringing all that stuff here. You know, with surveillance and control and social credit systems. You know. Oh no, a poor sketchy person. They all they can do is bother you until you bother them. If you don't do it, they won't do anything with you. If you do do it, you can't do anything with each other. And then they go do it near strangers. So no, no it's okay. You know. Who are you, Batman? No, not Batman. Polite Canadian man. Who? Not Batman, polite Canadian man. Batman? No, not Batman, polite Canadian man. God damn it. Can you speak up? I can't speak up. It sounds cooler this way. I'm polite Canadian man. Who are you? Polite Canadian man. Dun, 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 dun. So, yeah. I'll make it easier. Well, even if you want to do it, at least you can do it in a nice place to live. You have to do it in some horrible fucking communist controlled shithole 
being uh, created by the UN and globalists and communist China and stuff, you know, the World Health Organization dictating policies to the whole world. They shouldn't be dictating policies to anyone. No one votes for them, right? I don't mind if they run a Starbucks where Trump and Trudeau and Merkel and the rest of them can meet and they can talk about what their countries want to do, but they shouldn't be telling all countries what to do, you know? You can't ask anybody, hey, you want to have open borders? You want to sexualize kids? No. Well, where's that from? That's from the UN. They're the ones who promote that stuff. You know, that's not stuff that you can walk around with a petition in any country and get people to sign up for. Like, that's all garbage, right? So we got to fight that. And then instead of your people divided and conquered and bitching and snitching and sketching and making everyone uncomfortable and turning everyone into kind of a compliant corporate clone or commie zombie, make sure nobody can be nice and respect each other and communicate well, uh, and you can't teach kids to. Instead, you can have some people who can do that, and they can save where you live, and then other people won't act rude and sketchy till you act rude and sketchy till you can't do anything else and you go do it near strangers. They can do it in a nice place with nice people, right? That's all. It's fine. All the place is open. People going out. He'll going there. Great sports team. Great this, great that. Freedom, prosperity, opportunity. You know what I mean? And then other people are shaking near you, running away. You politely ignore them. They don't like being bothered back. They don't like being embarrassed if you pay attention. You know, you politely ignore them. Everyone happier. It might be ignored, want to stop, and everyone else around, relax and feel better. You have a little self-respect, don't be a mess for other people. So, at least you can do that in a nice place, right? Now, doing it in a quarantine communist shithole, even if they want to run around near hundreds of people a day to try and turn them into zombies, just acting sketchy near them, no, you're not going to like it, and trying to force you to put up with them, at least they can do it in a nice place, right? Not do it in some sort of god-awful, you know, uh, uh, communist China-style shithole, right? We've got we to gotta, we gotta save ourselves, we've got to rescue them. We've got to beat back the globalist United Nations and World Health Organization in Communist China and uh, stop them from Im importing not just their products, but their policies over here, which were tested on a billion people in China. They proved to work, and now they're bringing them here. And after softening us up with sort of socialism, uh, they're now communism, which is socialism in a hurry. And so that's where we are with the quarantines and the lockdown and the control and the rules and this and that. So we can beat that. Yeah, we're at war, man. We're at war. Now, if all you can do is act rude and sketchy until someone else acts rude and sketchy, and then you can't do anything else with each other and you go do it near strangers, that's fine. You politely ignore it. Don't bother them back. Don't bother anybody else. Everybody happier. Uh, but at least they can do it in a nice place to live, right? As long as no one thinks it's your wife. No one thinks it's your God. God, God's sake, no one thinks it's your wife. You're being a, a bitchy, sketchy, ugly mess in public, making everyone uncomfortable. You're just impotent, can't say or do anything, very insulting. If some of the things have nothing to do with it, then no big deal, right? Politely ignore it. Everyone happier. They like being ignored, want to stop. They don't bother them back. They don't like that. They don't pay attention. They don't want to be embarrassed. You know, you don't bother other people. Nobody likes that. And they, they can do it in a nice place to live. And everyone else around can relax and feel better. You have a little self-respect. Don't be a mess. You know, it's fine. Right? So you still need some people to, uh, to defend where you live against this uh, evil attack on your, on your sovereignty and, uh, and your freedom and prosperity and your future. Right? You know, if, somebody, if your kid asks, Daddy, what did you do during the Great Flu? Well, I cleaned out the garage, watched Game of Thrones again. It's like, no, wait a second. There's more than that. Right? So, you know, well, you can say, who are you? I'll say, polite Canadian man. They'll say, Batman? No, polite Canadian man. Who? Batman? No, polite Canadian. Can you speak up? I can't speak up. It sounds cooler this way. Polite Canadian man. Not Batman. He's doing something else. He's dealing with scum elsewhere. I'm polite Canadian man. Right? And then they can do it in a nice place to live. They can, they can run around shaking near hundreds of strangers a day in a nice place, not in some horrible communist shithole uh, created by the evil globalist U United Nations and World Health Organization and their satellite puppet state where they practiced all this first communist China, which even the Chinese hate. Look at the Hong Kong fight, people fighting like crazy against them. Those little yellow bastards can do it. Big old hockey playing white boys can and other people around the world in Canada and so on. So otherwise we're stuck. We're screwed, right? We're at war. We just lose. So... I didn't know you were here. Excuse me. But, so, girls. But anyway, do not talk about Fight Club. But you have to talk about Fight Club. But do not talk about... You know what I mean. The Freemasons do it. You know, regular guys can do it too. Unless it's uh, unfashionable or illegal. You know, you gotta have a double standard. That way people are nice to each other. Both to the same kind of corporate clone and commie zombie. So, excuse me. Oh, no, it's okay. If it starts to act sketchy and makes you put up with it, force you to 